How's it, Squidward? What the? How the? A perfect circle? Do it again. Show your process. Well, first I draw this head. Then I erase some of the more detailed features. And one, two, three. A circle uh, thingy. Give me that. Just, uh, forget the circles. Elite Smash! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash. And I gotta say, we're doing pretty good on this Road to Elite Smash. We've gotten a ton of characters, almost half the cast, in Elite Smash. And now we're going to get another character into Elite Smash. It's been a lot while since we've done an Ultimate Newcomer. And ever since October with Simon, it's been a pretty long time. And this character that we're going to be getting into is another single character from the single series. It was the first character introduced into Smash Ultimate while this reveal, and that is Inkling. And Inkling's a pretty interesting character, pretty broken at the start of Ultimate, but now it's a little bit interesting. This purple skin I used to use a lot, it was pretty cool, but look at this. This green skin, it has the skull mask. That's just a signature phantom thing right here. We love rocking the skull mask. And I definitely want to use this English skin because it is definitely the coolest one by far. Ooh, Sephiroth's a pretty interesting start. I don't know if I'd say I'm comfortable in this matchup with Inkling, but let's see what we got. So this is Inkling's Splat Roller, infamous for grounding people for so, so long. And I'm trying to hit him with up air. Really good move as well. Up throw, up air. Very nice combo. So yeah, nothing so far. So if you pay attention to his ink tank on the side, that was a good splat bomb as well on dash attack. But pay attention to the ink tank on the side as we get him to wing, as that will use up ink. And you can see Sephiroth is covered in ink, he gets an up smash to the face, and we just recovered a lot of that ink. So his inkling's main mechanic is ink, as you can see we're inking him up right now. Now he's covered with ink. That ink has a special property of being able to do more damage, you gotta watch out for that octa slash. Can we make it back? Ooh. So yeah, his up B is actually pretty good. Really good recovery. You can actually angle it, and that's actually why I died. So yeah, I gotta watch out for that range on Sephiroth. Really powerful. But yeah, if you're out of ink, though, it can be a bit of a problem since you won't be able to do that. Good up smash. Still living. Good dash attack. Recover more of that eight, um, ink. Good slap on. And hits him directly on the face. All right, that should force him. It's with Dr. Slap. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> That's another free up smash on his last stock. And if you ever wonder how to recover your aim, you can do hold shield and B at the same time in order to recover it if you're not completely empty. If you're completely empty, down B also works since you won't have enough to do with slap on like that. Gotta be careful that Octa Slash. We're gonna want him to abuse Octa Slash so we can put him in end lag. A good dash attack again. Ooh, and a quick SD. Didn't want to eat that forward air and that down here either, as we're already up one game against that Sephiroth, and Inkling has proven to be a turf wielding master. All right, looks like we have a dip in for Sephiroth this time, and as you saw that up tilt, not exactly the best move for Inkling. That and air do not seem to help Inkling at all. All right, good down smash with that two frame. And the Splat Bomb unfortunately doesn't stop him from recovering, so he did make it back. Good F Smash. I haven't talked about that. It's a bit of a Splat Bomb. There's another Splat Bomb. Ooh, alright. Should have attacked him a little bit faster, but we got him grounded, so free up Smash, baby. We got that ink back, and we're ready to roll. So you gotta watch out for those Shadow Players and his moves with his sword, but we do ground him just in case. Alright, up throw, up air, just before the Shadow Players connect. And I'm trying to get him with that Splat Roller again. Fun fact, you can jump out of Splat Roller and cancel it. I'm not really good at canceling it, but I'm good at jumping out of it. And ooh, a bit of a lag there, but we do take that stock. Last stock for him. And now, you can see he can jump out of it. All right. No food and, or movies. Oh, he's SE again. Wow, that is quite interesting. I was the one scared against fighting Sephiroth this whole time, but it turns out the Sephiroths were scared of us. Well, this is a notably free matchup for us against Incineroar. Yeah, Inkling will just do a much better job at range here. Just gotta watch out for Incineroar's side B. Alright, you already seen a ton of damage, so... That's fine, we can kill him at zero, though, so... I'm not worrying too much about damage, unless it gets to the point where that's tough to handle. So yeah, that forward air is definitely good for keeping him at bay. Inking him up right there, almost on ink, so let's get a little bit back. Alright, full tank again. Alright, be careful now. That could be helpful. Ooh. It was at this moment Jackson knew. He f***ed up. Ooh. Yeah, not the best decision. Could have 
we reset a little faster. I did want to make him drop shield there. All right, no F still, but we do get him with the jab, inking him up again, get him the 109. Back to and he's at two for the 1e3. And it hasn't died. Interesting DI. All right, doesn't get him with the two frame on that F smash. All right, just that kill. Almost. I think if we edge guard him a little, we should be able to do it. Come on. There we go. Good back here. I haven't gotten to kill with those, and back here is actually pretty good on Inkling, despite his range. All right, another slap on. Nice. All right, jumped out of that. Very nice. Good F smash. I read that. Ooh, almost got grabbed, but we're still good. Full tank of Ink once again, and Ensign is on his last stock right now. Alright, good forward air. air. Doesn't get the Nair. I want to hit a Nair at least once, but it's just not that good, unfortunately. Gotta watch out for that down smash. Good back throw. Doesn't go high. Makes back to stage. Another back here. Good F smash. I think we have it now. Go high. Reads it. Perfect. I think that's it. Good back air. That should be it now. Doesn't even get the F smash because he's just dead all the way there. Wanted to throw out another splat bomb just for good measure. But yeah, good job keeping Incineroar at bay. This is Inkling supposed to do. All right, Joker. Pretty interesting matchup once again as we've gotten some pretty high tier characters aside from Incineroar. So let's see what this Joker can do. All right, looks like he's pretty knowledgeable. Oh, all right. I see what you're doing. He's trying to cook right now. I won't let it happen. So let's do forward throw. Does ink him up, so that does use ink. Got to be aware of that. But nice back air. That down here, I want to hit it, but I don't think I'm going to this run. It's really, really hard to do it. All right, luckily avoided that up smash. And that F smash, his shield's looking low. So we ground him, and a free up smash. Inking him up, getting the star KO. And that's Tink Tink Ink. Yeah. Ink Tink is already pulled up once again. And we still have all three socks. So let's play the waiting game. See if we can ground him with that. Oh. Ooh, all right. Wasn't able to ground him with the side beat. And we unfortunately have lost the stock. But he's at 49. So let's stall out Arsene by at least fighting him. But yeah, that dash check. You gotta be careful. And, he, and he's just trying to read so many moves right now. Not letting him have another free ground. And that's back air. Maybe dash check. And Arsene is gone. Good up air. All right. Let's go with the four throw again. Nice roar back here. All right, no down smash. All right, up gun. Interesting. He almost has our sense. So let's kill him before we do. All right. Oh, well, that was pretty weird, considering what you were trying to do, and you just somehow made it up on the fly. All right, he has our sense now, so let's kill him before he can do any more significant damage. He's at 145. So that's another free up smash. Last stock for Joker, and last stock for us. But come on, we have Splat Roller. We can definitely make this happen. Ooh, up tilt even blocking that. Really interesting. All right, nice jab, getting him, inking him up. Shields against the roller, though. Good up smash. He has Arsene again, but he's about to run out of it. Come on. All right, that's a free ground. That's it. Up smash, baby. Inking him up and taking him out. That was a little bit of a scary joker. He definitely knew what he was doing. But we're just a master tactician in that, right? All right, looks like our final opponent is going to be Sam as someone who can compete with our lack of range as well as Sephiroth can actually. So nice splat on the start things off to 18%. Another deck checking into 30. Wasn't moving for that first stock. But yeah, Uppy. I forgot to mention something. If you do land with Uppy, you can do a little bit of damage and that does ink them slightly. So yeah, gotta be careful now. But yeah, Inkling has a bunch of little tricks up his sleeve. So yeah. And we are out of ink, so let's try to recover that best we can as dash attack. And like I said earlier, down B does the trick just fine if you're out of ink. But shield B is always reliable. Nice shot. And nice up air. Just falling up air. And that's interesting. I did not expect to hit that. It's just one of those smart things that you don't expect every player to hit. And I gotta watch out for that charge shot. Luckily, the up tilt helping a lot. Alright, watch out. Alright, 138 still living. These are 157. I think we can kill him first. No, that death smash killing him I mean, before he could. So let's try to get an up smash because that'll definitely kill him. Alright. Can't go deep like that. Alright. Oh, that's a re-grab. Down smash for the kill. And we only have one stock left. And we have another stock to hold on to. So let's play around a little bit. See if we can get maybe, how about roller into up air. Since we've been gotten rolling up smash. So it's at 136. That should be opportune. Alright. Let's 
Oh, all right. 186. We're still living, though. Let's see if we can get a roller. What are you doing? Oh, canceled it a little too late. Thought he grounded us, and now we do have one stock, so... All right. Doesn't get the roller. Shield against it. All right. Oh, that was grounded him. All right, let's get the up air. Nope. All right, a little, a little too high. Let's see if we can do it again. All right. What the... Uh, that was not it at all. Okay. Third time's a charm, though, so let's see him get back to stage. Roller. All right. Nah, I'm missing the up nope. air. Let's go F smash. There we go. Taking him out. And grounding proven that you can just ground him for so long, and that Inkling is a champion of Elite Smash for just burning six feet under. Well, if Elite Smash is turf, then Inkling has just claimed his turf as the Squid of Elite Smash, I should say. No other Squid characters in Smash, and there's no other character like Inkling. You know, Inkling definitely has the ability to play close up and range whenever he needs to, and his ink gimmick is definitely not one that is busted. It can actually increase your damage up to 1.5, depending on how covered in ink you are. And his moves could be a little bit better, some of them more broken than others, so maybe, you know, if there's ever, like, a Smash 6, then Inkling might get a few little changes to make him more of a balanced character, as he definitely received a heavy amount of nerfs, but to the point where most people aren't really playing him as much, so I kind of wanted to play him just to show you that Inkling is still a pretty viable character, no matter which way you think about it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and throw a splat bomb and blow up that subscribe button as I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.